Hello, I'm going to show you how you can get your models in Blender and make them not look like this. Make them look like this, so you can do what you want with them. Stick around. Alright, so before we begin, I just want to ask you, if you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you out, please do hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I reckon we can get there in maybe two months. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Hit that subscribe. Alright, so if we open Blender, so I'm starting from fresh with you guys. So if you go to File, Import, you don't see the option to import a P3D model. So to do this, you need to go to this link in the video description, github.com, Alan Warren Sid Armor Toolbox. Click on this um, releases over here. Time of the video is 3.0.4, but I haven't been updated for a long time. So I think it's probably still going to be that in about 20 years time when you watch this video. Hopefully we're not still playing Daisy then. <laughs> anyway. Go to the uh, the release and download this zip file right here. Your download manager won't look like this. This is just because I'm using Internet Download Manager, IDM. So, right, we have that download. Let me just double check the downloads. Compress, yeah, so you keep, keep it as a zip file. You don't need to uncompress this. So in, in Blender, you, know, you go to Edit, Preferences. Then this tab side, you've got good to add-ons and then install you go to your downloads compressed well yours will just be in your downloads folder and you just import this install add-on then when it's done you'll see it's here but it's not checked you've got to check that box and i can close this so we go to file import you see you have armor free p3d i know this is daisy but this imports will still work so you click on this anyway my desktop, I've got a tutorial folder, the UMP45 I'm going to work on. So this is straight from the DAISY folder, and as we try to import it, it fails. I'm going to show you. It's because it's binarized. So, you've got your P3D. You're going to need this tool here, the P3D Converter. You can get this from my website and get it right here. So you can find that at flanker.com forward slash download slash mlod, or flanker.com slash mlod. And... It's five pound, but you can set your own price. You can, if you're feeling generous, you can tip me an extra fiver by putting 10 pound on there. Or if you're feeling super generous, you can just send a hundred pound over. I don't mind, but you'll get this file. You'll literally get this in the zip file. And then, all right, so when you get this file, there's two ways of using this file. The first one is to double click it, and then you browse for the P3D file. So mine's in tutorial, UMP45, and there. Click open, it'll automatically place it in the folder where the original model was. Let me close that, let me delete that. You can also, if you can see this somewhere on your screen, let's say if it's like over here on your desktop, or in my case it's here on my desktop, I can literally drag the P3D straight onto this. It'll do the same thing, press enter to close. So now we have this MLOD. Um, I'll close this, see, this file size is a hell of a lot bigger. You're probably thinking, why is that? I'm going to show you why. It's not just a simple one take of a model anymore. It is. Um, right. I'm going to delete this stuff here first. Delete. Delete. I'm just highlighting it all and pressing the DEL key. So I've got a file. Import. I'm a P3D. You import this MLOD version. As you can see, you're probably thinking, Flanker, that does not look like a gun. But on your collections over here, if you select one, and hold shift and click, select all the way down to the bottom and press a DEL key again, you'll delete all the things. And you still have these. And to edit these, you need to click on the model so it's got this orange outline. Up in this top left side over here, where it says object mode, change that to edit mode. And then on these three buttons, you want to click the end one, which is select faces. And then I just clicked over here just to unselect everything. So now, you can move it around with your middle mouse wheel, by the way. I'm clicking my middle mouse wheel in right here to rotate up and down on the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. And shift and click middle mouse wheel and move the mouse and you can do that. So I'm going to draw a box around triangles, but not the gun. So press DEL key and then select faces. Do this for all this um, weird geometry stuff here. Delete faces, delete faces. So all of it, so there we have the UMP. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so now before we texture this, 
Um, guns do have hidden selection, hidden selections textures in the config. So where you got the gun from, the mod, open up the config file. You want to scroll down to where it says this one here, hidden select. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys, actually. I don't know how to zoom in on here, actually. I can't. So you find hidden selections and then two square brackets. And you, you might have a list of things in here. You might have like camo one, camo two, camo three, for example. It's just You might have multiple different things in there. You want to... If there's only one, you're very lucky because you only have to texture... You only have to have one output texture. But some guns have up to four or five, depending on how the developer did it. So it's like... It literally selects different parts of the gun so to get it inside a blender so you can separate it because at the minute we just have one mesh so when you're on the mesh on this side panel here you want to click on this materials it's like a, a red globe as you can see the co dot paa this is this is a pistol bullet by looks at it, the 45 cal but anyway um you have different ones in here so Right now, we want to select, you want to, in edit mode, you want to make sure you have this selected. Oh, my, my apologies, I'll come off of that again. You want to find the color. Don't worry about this one. Just look for the color one and select. Like, for sometimes it will say color two, color three, color four, color four, five, whatever. Just Let me just show you again in here. Look, in the data. So we only have one color. But some guns, like I said, have multiple colors. Sorry if I'm rambling on. So I skipped ahead a bit there, then I thought. So object, material, highlight the material that you want to select, like for part one, for example, hit the select button. So I'm jumping ahead of myself here. And then when you when you see the guns highlighted like this, or it might just be this, this part of the gun, for example, but anyway, right click on the gun and separate by selection. And then this one here we can call underscore co. Or underscore co2 not like carbon dioxide but joe for different parts so if i turn this one off you see we're left with a, a bullet so we know we can delete this mesh because we're not adding texture to the bullet inside of the gun so now we're left with just this now you can texture this all you want and please do check on my channel again or the link in the description it'll be to another video on how to apply the textures and how to bake them out you can also find the instructions on my um, website. I'm going to be posting a written blog, written instructions blog. I call it a blog because it's hosted on WordPress. But um, on the website, flanker.com, you will find written tutorials. If you find it hard to follow along with this, I'll try and cover it in more detail on there. And obviously I can update it if I forget little parts and I need to add stuff to it. So if you do like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm trying to get to 500. Time recording this, I'm at 206. See if we can get this by, um, by the end of the year. I want to get to 500. So for Christmas Day, before then, can you get me to 500, guys? If you've got multiple accounts, by the way, subscribe with all of them. <laughs> I'll love you forever. But anyway, that's, that's it for me, guys. Like the video if you liked it. If you don't like it, dislike it. Leave a comment, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much, guys. I love you.